that. All right, guys, uh, this tutorial, we're going to show you uh, some quick fixes on a photo. This is the original photograph on the left here and the photograph on the right. Got some slick little ways uh, to make this happen. So let's take a look at it. I'll start with uh, the photo on the left here. So first things first, you notice how their faces are a little bit in the shadows. Uh, there's a real quick fix in Photoshop. Uh, actually, I should do first thing first. Always duplicate your layer. That way you have an original there. Uh, under image adjustments and shadows and highlights is a really quick shadows and highlights fixer. Now you can see, especially in the guy on, on the side of this girl's face on the left and the girl on the right, really it's their face that comes out really nice when I bring that shadows and highlights uh, up. So you can adjust the amounts and the highlights and the various things there. You gotta be careful, sometimes it gets a little cartoonish, um, but right around 24% on this one, 28% oh, on this one brings their faces back. One of the reasons it's nice to have a duplicate is let's say there's somewhere uh, in particular like this girl's dress you can see how it got a little gray and grainy what I can do is apply a mask to layer number one and then I just take my brush tool here and I can using black paint over that dress and that'll help bring some of that dress back um, now this picture is from somebody's iPhone and it's a little bit messy so I'm actually not going to do that to this one um, but that's that the second thing that I did to get the original a little bit better is make it a levels adjustment on it. Uh, in your adjustments panel, this is the levels thing. It looks like a crown. And what this really does is it tells us how much pure black, gray, and pure white there is. Usually if we drive the blacks down, and this is, you can see her dress get fixed automatically. You can see I can drive those blacks down and uh, that gets pretty nice there. And you can mess with the grays and stuff. It's another thing kind of messing with the shadows. Um, but a levels adjustment's not bad. Auto is not a bad place to start here. Let them auto think it through. Photoshop will think about it, and then you can come in and make some other adjustments as you want. So our picture's improved there. This was kind of the fun one, though. This is a fun picture. It's a, a couple. I like this couple and all that. But you got all this distraction stuff in the background. So cutting them out would be an option, but this isn't a cut-out picture. So I really just want to have that be blurred. Um, so the a slick method that I just used to do that is I'm back on layer one now. I'm going to move over to any selection tool. I just use W by default, um, but all the selection tools have this option up here for select subject. We use it when we do extractions. When I say select subject, Photoshop will do a pretty good guess of tossing the ants around our people. This works pretty well on most. Uh, some of them it gets a little bit messy. You can even see that here on the shoulder of the girl it started picking up some random stuff here so before I do the next step I'm gonna quickly take the lasso holding option I can get rid of the messy stuff that I didn't want okay and I can just get too worried about uh, it being perfect just pretty darn close especially around their heads I'll hold shift and I'll bring her head back in here I'm not being near as detailed as I would for an extraction because I'm not doing an extraction uh, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bump those out just a little bit. So under the select menu, modify and expand. And I'm just going to go ahead and push them out, say like seven pixels. Depending upon the size of your picture, it'll depend how much you want them out. But effectively, you want those to halo out. I'm going to push them just a little bit more. I'll push them another seven. And now you can see it's kind of haloed out around them. All right. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to make a duplicate of that. So I'll have Command J. That makes a jump cut that would be a really terrible extraction. But what I can do now is take the lower layer here, layer number one, and I can go to Filter, Blur, and apply a Gaussian Blur to that background. And now you can see if I do it real extreme, well, that was too extreme. If I do it extreme, you can see that background's faded out, but as I pump that down, you can see that that blend actually looked kind of cool, and it's not quite as noticeable that they were pseudo cut out on there. Now, this isn't maybe the best way, but it's super fast way uh, to do that. You basically duplicate the layer, do your quick image uh, levels adjustment and your shadows and highlights, let Photoshop make a really loose selection of those guys, Duplicate it, Gaussian blur, bam, I'm done. 
Uh, if I wasn't explaining it, probably do the whole thing in like two minutes. And I've really cleaned up this photograph a lot.